These are the dried results of my Bernadette's Blooms or Bernadette's Flowers. If you haven't seen the creation videos, I'm going to put the link up for you now. Welcome to my channel, Simply Be Fluid Art from Cape Town. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's a rolling marble pour. I had so much fun with this pouring technique. It's unbelievable and you really have to try this. I mixed up a few colors, rolled a marble through it and once it was dry I embellished it. So how did I do this? I mixed up a cup of black paint. I'm going to share the ratio with you now. 30 grams of paint, 60 grams of pouring medium and 10 grams of water. Gives me a total of 100 grams of mixed paint. I'm working on a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas and that 100 grams of paint was just enough to cover the base and the sides of my canvas. I use a spatula to spread the paint nice and evenly and also to coat all four sides before laying down the puddles. So my colors for the puddles is a green yellow, a nice bright magenta, an Aztec yellow, a cyan blue and I'm also going to add a cerulean blue. I've got five colors in total. And that's my tool for today's pour. It's a huge marble. It's called a gong, G-O-N-G. And the kids play with these and now I'm playing with one too. So putting down the puddles on top of the black base, I'm starting with the cerulean blue. Alternating the colors, each in their own puddle. Some Aztec yellow and then in between those two colors I'm going to add the green yellow. These are all local brands, different brands of paint mixed up in the same ratios. That magenta is just stunning against the greens and the yellow. I use Iris, I'm using Dela Rowney, I'm using Dollar, I'm using Zalcroft, all my go-to brands here in South Africa. The cyan blue was the last blue that I, I laid down in the puddles and now I'm going to place some colors in between some of those spaces just making sure that I have enough paint on the canvas. So if this is the first time for you watching please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you follow all of my tutorials and don't miss any new videos. Thank you to everyone that is back and that has subscribed. I seriously value your support. So I'm ready to add the marble. This is a large marble. It's one of those that the kids play with in the playgrounds. Laying that down on top of one of the puddles and now I'm going to tilt it around and allow the marble to pull the color through the puddles and here you are in total control with where you send that marble. Keeping it on the canvas so that it reaches most of the puddles and creates Beautiful design as it pulls those puddles of color through each other. And then I let it gently drop off the canvas and now I'm tilting and stretching. Making sure that the colors 
flowed gently over all four sides and that I'm giving the paints enough stretch. Making sure that I also watch the composition and the balance of those colors. Tilting and stretching all the time to get as much paint off the canvas. Placing it back down and then looking and then tilting a little bit more until I have the composition that is visually pleasing and I am happy with this result. I will allow the canvas to dry. It will take about four to six days to completely dry and then I decided to add some embellishments to make it a little bit more interesting and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching my friends. Thank you for being here with me. I hope that you try this at home. Until the next one. Bye.